Hello everyone, I am here to do a tea and teas video for January. Um, so I drank 48 cups of tea and also I did go to the Toronto Tea Festival, which was very awesome. A lot of people, so a lot of tea people, because you know, it's the second most consumed drink after water. Um, so it was an exciting thing. I got to see a lot of people, see a lot of brands, try some cool teas. And uh, so I didn't drink as much tea, but I did manage to drink 48 cups of tea. And then the day of the festival, I drank a lot of samples and they gave you like a little tea tasting glass. But then a lot of this had like paper, like little paper cups too. Uh, but this is a little token of my tea festival. <clears throat> and so there were a couple of freebies, but most of the booths they were you know selling their product which was awesome and some of them were kind of like maybe if you bought it at a different day like in the store it'd be twelve dollars but today at the festival it's ten dollars something like that so they were kind of you're getting some savings um but yeah so here are my tm keys not maybe as much but definitely some teas i really wanted to finish up and now february i'm excited to start off with just finishing up stuff but still trying new stuff too um, so 48 cups of tea. My big thing I really wanted to finish was this Lipton white tea peach and mango. Lipton still has some teas, but like they don't have the pyramid tea bags. I don't think the triangle pyramid tea bags. I don't know, but this packaging is like old, so old. I just really wanted to finish it up. But the peach mango really did come through, so it was a nice white tea. Um, it has other ingredients. It's white and green tea, rose hips, hibiscus flower, orange leaves, sweet blackberry leaves, tree, lemongrass, licorice, natural peach, mango, and apricot flavors. But yeah, very nice fruity tea. I just wanted to finish up. So now it's done. Um, and uh, some tea bags I was drinking while away. Um, this was at one of the booths, and I wanted to have, like, a full-size cup, but she only kind of gave me a little <laughs> taster of it, so I just felt like it kind of felt like a little bit of a waste having, like, this, like, a regular tea bag and, like, a little sample like this, but it was a rose tea from Carusho Gold. It's black tea and rose flavors. Very nice, but I kind of wanted to enjoy it more, um, but, yeah, if I see this, I definitely get it. Um, America Schmidt from Beyond the train sloan tea that's like a ontario tea company um but this is a rooibos with two types oh green yeah so green rooibos and two varieties of mint um this was nice tea especially when it's a rooibos and there's mint because usually when it's a mint tea i thought it was just gonna be like an herbal mint but no it had rooibos so that was very nice a little bit more refreshing and then an itoen matcha genmaicha which is very nice, nice green tea. Okay, and these are the teas I would have finished before um, I left. So these three samples I really wanted to finish up. Two of them I wasn't sure if I was gonna finish up for January, but I was able to. So we have Fireside Mocha, which when it first came out, I was glad I only had a little sample, but drinking it, it was really nice. So I think I do have another little sample but, you know, we sometimes you want to have like 50 grams of a tea and sometimes you only want like a sample packet of a tea. So but this was a nice herbal tea, chocolatey kind of coffee and then gingerbread. Nice Royce gingerbread tea. Very delicious. And then a little sample of Machimatsu. Usually in those silver like 50 gram bags, I'll like kind of rinse out with the water and then try to get more of the powder out. And then once it's like pretty much clean, I use like a paper towel to dry up just so the moisture doesn't get wacky but just with this I feel like and not really a big point but it's the Matsumatsu from the advent calendar so I would hopefully by the summer of 2023 like this summer I'd like to finish up my matcha advent calendar but it does take me a while to finish up matcha so a little progress here and there I have a tea bag of the chamomile from President's Choice which is a nice chamomile tea uh, I wanted to finish this tea, but I still have like two more tea bags, but it is very nice. Organic green tea from English Tea Shop. The Kirkland Signature Green Tea with the matcha in it. Tea bag of that, very delicious. 
uh, chamomile from Taylor's. I would have gotten this in a hotel room. So I always love getting like tea bags from a hotel room. And then this was the last of the Celestial Seasonings Herbal Tea Sampler that I wanted to finish up. It was the Honey Vanilla Chamomile, which funny enough, I wasn't a big fan of this because it's, um, the one I like is Twinings, the Honey Vanilla Chamomile. But this one, it's not just... It's chamomile, orange peel, natural flavors, licorice, roasted chicory, lemongrass. I just, I want a little bit more sweet, so I wasn't a big fan of, like, the citrus component. Um, but there was only four tea bags on, so I just finished it up. And it was very old, so I finished it up, and there's only a couple tea bags. So, yeah, so not too bad with progress. I finished them because I really wanted to finish up. And, you know, it continues where February is going to be finishing up stuff and try new stuff. It's just like a mix. I want to drink up stuff, but I also want to try new stuff. And so I did buy tea from the tea festival. I don't have it with me, but I have a, this was a freebie. So it's like compressed, uh, like, I'm thinking puer tea. But it's a compressed tea cube. So I'm excited to try this. And this is a flower, I think, flower ball. Um, I had to buy this, but I really wanted to try it because I just, I don't know, I like the idea of like a tea ball and unfurl and you can get multiple steeps out of this, so. Um, yeah, and then my little tea tasting cup, and this is not from the tea festival, but tea thoughts, and I think she was actually there, but I never actually met her, and I didn't have this, like, it didn't arrive in time for me to wear it to the tea festival, but I still love the, the necklace, and I also got the ring too. I don't wear much jewelry, but I do like the um, necklace. And I got the Year of the Tiger Guy one tea tin, and some um, some sticky notes. And she gave me some extras too. And it was during her birthday special, so it was like thirty percent off. So that was very nice. Um, but yeah, Tea Thoughts, great brand. If you want to go to the tea festival, definitely go. And there's one in Montreal. There's a Toronto tea one. There's some in the states. So. Yeah, and maybe if there's a coffee festival, I'd probably go to that too. But 40 tea, 40 cups of tea, finished some teas. I didn't really have a tea that I didn't dislike. I mean, this wasn't my favorite, but I do have the Twinings Honey Vanilla Chamomile, so I know that'll be better than this one. But I'm excited, so yeah, always making progress. So I hope everyone's having a great day, great month, great year, and enjoy your tea. Bye.